Good evening and welcome to tonight's presentation of Noche La NBA, an end tradition in the NBA, celebrating diversity and culture, and always a pleasure to bring it to you. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And guys, he's fighting it a little bit at the free throw line. In the past 10 games, the stroke just hasn't been what we saw earlier in the season. He's trying to right that ship here tonight. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. The post bear form will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Dort in at the three. And for the Knicks, we've got Jalen Brunson. OG Ananobi is out there with Hart. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hartenstein in its center. As the season winds down, Doris, the top squads have certainly separated themselves from the rest of the pack. There's no doubt about that, Kevin. And despite everyone playing hard this year, both conferences have become super competitive. It is getting more and more difficult to become and sustain being a top team. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren the pass to Williams. Here's the three. Holmgren can't hit. And so Ananobi will bring it up for New York. Their last meeting was in Oklahoma City. Where they were unable to fight off the Thunder. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. They were forced into tons of sloppy play. I think they'll be Knicks looking lead. to be more composed tonight. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Floats it up for Williams. Deft touch on the alley -oop. Boy, you love to see that vision from, from Shea Gilders Alexander. Spread the love, young sir. Brunson against Gilders Alexander. Passes it to Juan and Open. They set the pick. Six to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. There's the triple. And there's Brunson. That's good. On the assist by Ananobi. It's gotten to the point where you have to chase Jalen Brunson off the perimeter. This guy will really hurt you from deep. Williams kicks to Giddy. Now here's Holmgren. Guarded close. The Knicks pull it in. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Some nice passing by New York here. Williams against DiVincenzo. Pass to Hart. And the shot goes in. And here is Giddy. Against Phoenix, he was really on his game. Pass to Holmgren. Inside, Gilgis Alexander. Sinks that one from the post. That's just That's concentration from, from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy's accustomed to big time defense. Well, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? But when the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Bill just Alexander passes to Giddy. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And Giddy gets it to go. Yeah, Josh Giddy taking the in-between game because that's what the defense conceded. Brunson surveying the D. And there's the pass to on and open. They set the pick to the inside. Lays it up off the glass. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Now here's Giddy. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Holmgren with a screen on Brunson. 
Holmgren gets the bucket. Holmgren. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Count it good. Isaiah Hartenstein got six. That is Jalen Brunson showing you how to operate as the ball handler in pick and roll. What a pretty assist. Gilgis Alexander finds Giddy. Here's Holmgren. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The next shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts. Right around 78%. And the first one drops. And DB, as we look ahead here, the Thunder seem to be well positioned for sustained success. They certainly do, Kevin. And the reason you say that is because Oklahoma City has not only amassed a tremendous amount of young talent, their culture is in place, and they have a history of developing young talent. Now it's about building consistent habits and making sure that translates to winning. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. Now here's Giddy. Williams sets a screen for Giddy. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. From deep, Clemson, he shoots again, and that one is good from Hartenstein. He's got 10. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Here's Giddy on target from 13 feet. Giddy's got his second basket. Well, the handles have never been in doubt, Josh Giddy. That is pretty. Passes to Hartenstein. Hart with it. It's stolen by Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Williams, a screen on Brunson. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. And the shot goes down. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. It's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Show them some love. point outing in their last game against San Antonio. You know what else impressed me? How infectious his tenacity was. Simply a wrecking ball on the board to collect a huge amounts of rebounds. And here are the teams that have been on fire from the three-point line ever since the All-Star. In third, the Thunder. I mean, they've gotten better shooting the ball as the season has gone on. And you like their trajectory. I mean, they're in a great offensive groove right now. That free throw, no good. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. Williams, he's checked in for Holmgren. 
and he sinks the second. Hey, Doris, you grew up in New York. The pressure of playing in the big city, is that a real thing? Oh, absolutely, Kevin. If you're playing in the media capital of the world, everything is magnified. And I think that holds true for the other respective large cities. Los Angeles and Chicago come to mind. The Knicks leading by five. Pass to Hartenstein. It's stolen by Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Down low. And Giddy gets it to go. Now it's just a three-point Knicks lead. Nice pass here to set that basket up. The Knicks have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. It's Hart on the wing. Back to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. And that one's on target from the wing. Brunson's got five points so far. Just a good on-ball decision-making from Brunson right there. This guy a master in the pick and roll. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Brunson with it. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. Brunson, good. Yeah, don't be fooled by the height, guys. Brunson is a terrific finisher inside. Williams inside, defended by Hart, got a piece of it. Pass to Brunson. Ananobi with the screen for Brunson. The pass to Ananobi from downtown. That falls, nice speed that time from Brunson. And now it's an eight-point Knicks lead. And boy, have they come to help strong. Pounding and offensive board for second chance points. Giddy finds William. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Brunson. The shot's good Shea from Gilgis Alexander. Alexander. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander, that three-level scoring ability, that time working the mid-range. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Off target from three-point range. Thunder trailing by six. Williams kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Dort. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Williams a screen on Brunson. Pulls from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Brunson. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. Hart, that's good. That's just outstanding floor awareness from Jalen Brunson. It doesn't matter if he's at the one or the two. He always makes the right play. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. On your feet, fans, and make some noise. It's your next city answer. As we close in on the start of the playoffs, let's see how the East is stacking up. You look at the Knicks, advantage in one series. And seeing where the Knicks are, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Yeah, even so, though, I'm sure they're not satisfied just being near the top of the standings. They're going to be looking to make a major push as the season winds down. Under trailing by eight. At the elbow, Williams. Kicks it to Hayward. Back to Williams. And Williams throws it down. Okay, Gordon Hayward, we know you're an all-star level talent as a scorer. Now you're just showing off with that pass. Here's Burks. And again, it's New York. Well, it doesn't get much easier than that. Even a decent shooter is going to make that with no pressure. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. To Williams releases gets a very good look and converts. Williams has got his second bucket of the game to go. And that 
assist. Got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Hartenstein passes to Bogdanovich. Good on the triple. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Knicks lead 33 24. 130 left in the first quarter of the game. Williams against Hart. Williams sets a screen for Wallace. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Josh Hart. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Knicks. Two shots. They look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc. And so far, they are hitting at a high clip. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. First one falls for During the summer of 2019, DB, Oklahoma City traded Paul George to the Clippers. They got Shea Gildas Alexander in that trade, who goes on to become an all-NBA selection and looks like his future is like all-star level every year. Not only that, you've got a boatload of picks, one of which was Jalen Williams, who's a big-time upside player in this league. Wow, what a deal for this group. The Knicks leading by seven. Here's Brunson. He's got seven. Bogdanovich passes to Achua. Here's Brunson. Tries again. Achua, no good. Under trailing by seven. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Here's Wallace. From outside, off the mark. New York's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. McBride passes to Robinson. Puts up a three. Ajua, no good. Oklahoma City's gone 0-2 from deep here. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Oklahoma City comes into this one after the win against the Suns. Here's McBride. New York, no good that time either. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by New York. Here's McBride. Brunson, the lead pass was put in just the right spot. Brunson's got nine. And so it's New York ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And the three-point shot has been big for us. We come back right at... 26. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter of play here on Noche Latina. Molinos. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. I love the determination. They want to go after every rebound out there and overwhelming to the opposition right now. New York leading by nine. So for Oklahoma City right now, We've got Wallace. This Mac Biambo is out there with Wiggins. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Hayward in at the small four. There's a screen. McBride's shot is off. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Now here's Wallace. His last outing, 16 points for him. Hayward the bounce pass. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. That ball's nice feed that time from Wiggins. Three points. Well, Gordon Hayward will find his rhythm fast if you allow him to catch and shoot. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. Josh Giddy is very capable off the dribble and at 6'8", he's starting to use his size to finish. Coach Mark Dagnold said he's definitely physical. Before, he was just trying to shoot over people, but now he's taking up space, using his size and strength. He's getting a lot more around the basket. Kevin? Yeah, he is getting into him, D.A., thank you. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Gordon Hayward. At the line. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. The free throw drops by Hayward. There are many ways to build a team as we know, Doris. Do you prefer building around a star or a more team-based approach? I think, Kevin, what we have learned unequivocally is that it is not just about collecting talent. Certainly, you need star players to win in the NBA. But so much of this is about how do the pieces fit around. There is a reason it is a team sport, Kevin. Don't overlook the role players around those stars. When you look at the Thunder style of play, very fast paced. And because of that, they put up a lot of shots. And their goal really is to overwhelm you and wear you down. Of course, they allow plenty of shot attempts as well. And here is Wallace after Boyan Bogdanovich getting his shot to go from deep. Wallace outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. A 15-footer. It's hauled in by Achua. And, and they continue to control the glass. McBride fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still Defensive get it to fall. The Knicks shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Wallace. That's his first personal. First team foul. Miles McBride at the line. One shot. And here now the Thunder trailing by 10. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. The bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, Gilgis Alexander has that ability to adjust in mid-air, take the contact. That is nicely done. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. good from Gilgis Alexander. What's been amazing to watch is Shea Gilgis Alexander going from good player to now putting his name at the very top of the list in terms of great guards in the league. Now here is Robinson still without a basket. Robinson a screen on Hayward. Back to Robinson. And then Robinson slams it in. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Robinson. To the wing right side. Fires the three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Boy, how about the awareness from the big man? We think of Mr. Robinson as a shot blocker. What a pretty pass. Knicks lead 46. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. 
and, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board, and I, I don't mean style points. Now here's Brunson. He's got nine. And finished off by Robinson. Guys, he's such a big target. On the alley, you throw it up. Mr. Robinson, the only one in the building who can catch it and finish. With the drive, and Hayward gets it to go. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Now the pass to Brunson. Here's McBride. He's got six to the middle. A dunk by Achua. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. When he wants oh, to. you're right. Now. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Three-pointer, Hayward. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Thompson with it. He's a player that you can only hope to slow down as he averages nearly 28 points a game. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, it's no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Robinson with the block. Wingspan, athleticism, verticality. Robinson with authority sends it back. Pass to Brunson. Pass to Achua. Here's McBride. A three ball. They get it back. Robinson. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the board has been impressive. Williams dishes to Wallace. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Puts the fade away right on the money. Gilgis Alexander's got 11. Shots are just flowing with him right now, having a really strong court. It's Robinson, top of the key. Pass to Brunson. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. And now that's 11 points here for Jalen Brunson. We know that the defense in today's NBA wants to take away the rim and the three. Mr. Brunson says, I'll take that mid-range. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And with numbers like this, how about 87% on the year? He's been somebody they love having at the line. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Holmgren, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Wiggins. Dort, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Josh Giddey's subbed in for Wallace. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Up top, Achua. Back to Brunson. There's a good screen. Throws it up high. The dunk by Achua. And in the definition of teamwork right there on that alley. -oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some thunder. Yeah. Time called here. The thunder decide to talk it over. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg. A player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his team. Oh, and he's checked in for a two. And a moment now see some numbers for Williams. And with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands and he converts at a remarkable rate. And yeah, he's one of the dead-eye sharpshooters in the game for sure. A top five percentage guy from deep. Just a hard man to slow down. And running offense through Homer. Great court awareness and really unselfish. Bounce pass from Ananobi. 
and here is Hart. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, he averages about nine points a game. Shot clock at five, and the rejection by Holmgren. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Holmgren, one of the best young shot blockers in the league. Now here's Giddy. He's got eight. He kicks it to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. And that one's good, Gilgis Alexander. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Now Brunson, 11 points in the game. A nice shot by Hartenstein. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Williams has a screen for Gilgis Alexander. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Let's check out the standings in the Western Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. You look at the Thunder. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sit in first place right now and not looking like they are going to be slowing down at all. And you know, for the Thunder, with the regular season they've enjoyed, it has to be wondered at this point if they're the team to beat this postseason. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Wallace is checked in. And here's Brunson outside. And Holmgren pulls it down. Thunder trailing by 14. Williams scanning the floor. Holmgren with a screen on Hart. It's good from long range. Seven points for Williams. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. There's the screen. And here's Brunson outside. Rebound by Williams. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Wallace kicks to Williams. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. The Knicks leading by 11. Inside, and stolen by Giddy. And the Thunder pushing it up now. And Williams gets it to go on the assist from Giddy. Williams has got seven points for the quarter. Well, you have got to be impressed with Josh Giddy's awareness of where his teammates are at all time times. Out, right New York calls timeout. Guarded. In. Teams that make their free throws are so tough down the stretch. Let's check out the best. Second, the Thunder. You know, it's really a team-wide talent. You want to foul to stop layups, but against them, you're not saving much. They'll make you pay time and again. Oklahoma City on D. Nine-point game. Dort against Ananobi. Not going to go that time. Nice defense from Dort. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. Yeah, and, and in that game, you see how they built out this roster. Acquiring role players who can step up when needed. And that's exactly what happened. Guys came off the bench ready to play. The offense didn't miss a beat. Here's McBride. He has six. And that one is good. Hart's got six points. How about how he sets his man up there, runs it right into the screen, and then gets the basket. The pass to Holmgren. Holmgren sets the screen for Wallace. Holmgren gets the bucket. He has six. I mean, sneaky. When he moves around the floor, Holmgren takes you out of the play, slips past, and just rolls to the hoop. Now, here's Hart. And 
the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. Sinks the three pointer. DiVincenzo's got his second button. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct for just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots First coming up. New York called for the foul. And a savvy pump fake move from the rookie Holmgren. That kind of intelligent play could serve him well in the regular season. And that one misses. Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You, you think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. Jalen Brunson, who's checked in for New York. Good on the second free throw. And Holmgren possesses sky-high potential. His length and versatility making him such an intriguing prospect. Now here's Brunson. 11 points in the game. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Giddy against Brunson. Now here's Giddy. He's guarded closely. Josh and he drops Giddy. in the layup off the glass. Giddy's got 10 points. That's outstanding footwork by Josh Giddy. Finishing the painted area. I can do that too. Now here's DiVincenzo. Defense right on him. New York moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Ananobi passes to Brunson. And the Knicks hit again from deep. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the game. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Loads it up for Williams. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Four on three break. Here's Hartenstein, and the layup's good off the glass. Hartenstein's got four points this quarter. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Here's Giddy. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Giddy. Now here's Brunson. Puts up a deep three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Well, the ability to be disruptive with your length. Josh Giddy digging down defensively. And so it's New York up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Coach, this team is still developing. What do they need to do to really reach their max? Just keep working every day. Give maximum effort, great concentration, and play to win. Make winning plays. Sounds simple, but I know it's not, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first-half performance it's been for the New York Knicks. We were just in the green room watching this game. What was your highlight of the first half? I really like those wings. Oh, you talking about the game or the wings? Anyway, I like the wings we had in the back. Yeah, Kenny. I like the hummus. The Kenny. hummus was pretty that good. That sauce on point. Oh, yes, it was. You know, I actually was talking about the game. Uh, why has it always got to be about food with you two? And now looking at our current game in progress, a disaster of a first half for the Thunder. What I'm really wondering is their communication defensively. They've allowed too many good looks, and that's something that can be hard to correct at halftime. Also give some credit to the boys on the other side. The execution was on point. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half.
wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will... The Knicks leading by 12. Hartenstein is out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then it's OG Ananobi. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two guard. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. The shot's good from Brunson. Boy, whenever this team has needed a bucket, Jalen Brunson has been there right now in complete command of this ball game. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Holmgren with a screen on DiVincenzo. And the jump by Holmgren. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Here's Brunson. Oh, good on the triple. He needs to look to try to drive inside and get going. That outside shot is simply not there. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you very much, Kevin. Oklahoma Josh City is a Dean. franchise that has to have patience. Coach Mark Dagnalt said, there's no schedule. That's the biggest thing. There's a way of operating that we're very confident in and that we're going to bet on. And that's developing, having a good environment, and trying to play a style that scales forward. We're just going to keep our head down. Kevin, back to you. And keep going straight ahead. All right, DA, thanks. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. OG Ananobi unable to get his last shot to go. Williams passes to Giddy. Lock at six. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Gilgis Alexander's got 17 now. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Well, despite his size, Jalen Brunson loves to operate in the painted area. The Knicks have gone four for five from the chimney stripe in this one up to nine. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, because Jalen Brunson's such a terrific decision maker, you can tell how confident and comfortable this team is when he runs the offense. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Thunder trailing by nine. Dort kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. That one misses. You know, miss that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Passes it to Brunson. Six to shoot. The offensive rebound. Whistle blows, bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. So Jalen Brunson, a guard that will rebound the position. That all comes down to effort. For New York, they have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. At the line. One shot. One falls for Brunson. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Down by 12. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. That one doesn't go. Good tee by Williams. Thunder trailing by 12. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Over Brunson. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. Now, Shea Gilgis Alexander has now emerged into a superstar. And on nights like this, guys, he's unstoppable. DiVincenzo passes to Ananope. DiVincenzo against Giddy. 
Here's DiVincenzo. Defense is right there. Nice shot from the wing. DiVincenzo's got eight points. Thunder have got four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Holmgren in the corner. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. That is his first foul of the game. And statistically, more young players in the league today, Greg, than in decades past. Might be a reason the age limit wasn't lowered in this new CBA. Yeah, I mean, the veterans saying, hey, we're already having a tough time sticking around. And I think having those guys helps on and off the court. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Dort kicks to Giddy. Buries it from three-point range. Giddy. Giddy's got it back goal. down to within single digits for the Thunder. The Knicks have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Thompson with it. He's got 20. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Eight away. That missed basket now makes him four of eight from the field. Pass to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. Williams with the block. And he gets it back. Hard kicks to Ananobi. Pass to DiVincenzo. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. DiVincenzo's got five points now this quarter. Controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. Holmgren with a screen on Brunson. And Holmgren the bucket on the assist from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his seventh assist in the game. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. With the teardrop and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. It has proven very hard to guard Jalen Brunson without fouling, especially if he's aggressive to score it. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Knicks? I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And the other thing for this team today, they have a bunch of second chance points. They're turning misses into makes. And he makes the first. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Oklahoma City. And both free throws good for Brunson. Trailing by 12. And here is Giddy. 17 points in the game. And there's another one for the Thunder. And a lot of teams avoid the mid range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. New York's gone 1 of 3 from downtown since halftime. Now, DiVincenzo. 11 points in the game. And here's Brunson outside. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on DiVincenzo. Holmgren can't hit. The Knicks leading by 10. Here's Brunson. the pass to Hart. Three-pointer drills it from outside. Hart's got nine. You can't afford to let Hart get going from deep. He's ready to shoot it when given the opportunity. Oklahoma City moving it around. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Right through the D for the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 21 in the game. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Let's it go from deep. And Holmgren pulls it down. Under trailing by 11. Spins. Passes to Giddy. 
Holmgren sets the screen for Giddy. In the jump by Holmgren. From and given that Holmgren is Giddy. seven feet tall, he's a threat to throw it down at any time. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. They set the screen. Hartenstein passes to Hart. Six on the shot clock. A three for DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Giddy's got four rebounds now tonight. Shot from free throw range. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Gilgis Alexander. It's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. Now here's Brunson. And two points for him. Hart the pass to Hartenstein. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. He's got 17. You're fighting to keep the possession alive. Something this guy does so well. Gilgis Alexander finds Giddy. Holmgren with it. He's got 15. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. New York calls timeout. Balls is checked in for Oklahoma City. And let's use this break to bring up the top scoring teams in the league so far this season. These are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. In third, the Thunder. And how about the year they've had offensively? This is a team that can put points on the board in a hurry. Always fun to watch them play. Here's McBride. Six points for him. Drills the three-pointer. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Pass to Holmgren. And here is Giddy. 91. 81. Pass to Wallace. DiVincenzo against Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on DiVincenzo. Giddy, no one around him. Another shot. And Holmgren lays it in. Holmgren. Holmgren's got 12 points in just the second half. Oh, great production on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. Seven-foot shot, and the shot is long. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Hayward kicks to Williams. Holmgren sets the screen for Williams to the inside. Stolen by Robinson. And a fast break now for New York. Ananobi against Giddy. And here is Hart. He's got nine. Down low. And the pass to McBride. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Robinson's got three assists now in this one. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. 11 point game. 94. 83. Passes it to Giddy, and it's good. Josh Two points. Giddy has got 19 points. Wow. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Popped up there for Robinson. Hayward outside. Over in the corner, Williams for three. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often, and of course, he makes good use of it. Here's McBride, all is covering. Oh, that's a big-time rejection from Chet Holmgren, making his defensive presence felt. Williams passes to Giddy. He lobs it up. And I don't care what his size is, you cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball, and he is fearless in attacking the play. Outside, Robinson. That's too hard. Nice to the hoop. DiVincenzo kicks to Ananobi. Hayward against Hart. And a 
again it's the Knicks missing and they're trailing by four 27 seconds left in the third quarter of the game and Giddy gets it to go to me, it's the ability to facilitate that enhances Josh Giddy as a scorer. You've got to play him for both, and right now he's cooking the defense. Now, here's Ananobi. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Ananobi with it. Fended by Hayward. Now, Ananobi pulls it from 20. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Boy, the athleticism of OG Ananobi can be eye-popping sometimes, guys. And what's happening now is he's developing on the offensive end. This guy's upside is absolutely tremendous. That's good for Mananobi. Both free throws good from Mananobi. Brunson has been on display for New York and of everything he's doing first already 22 points in this game and we'll be back with you shortly And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So for Oklahoma City right now, They've got Wiggins, also Hayward out there. Williams is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Joe in at the two. Misfires on the corner three. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. The shot's good from Brunson. We call that, folks, the stop and pop. Jalen Brunson with the pull-up J. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. Now here's Brunson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First personal foul. First team foul. Jalen Brunson at the line. Two shots. That free throw missing. And he's good on the second. Well, the critical free throw was the one to make it a two possession game and he got it. Hayward against Bogdanovich. Pass to Williams. Wiggins kicks to Hayward. Williams sets a screen for Hayward. Down to five on the shot clock. Robinson with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain position.
We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. And the three ball is good. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Fucker Alan Burks checked in for New York. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks. Number 18, Alec Burks. Here's Bogdanovich. Now, here's Achua. Kicks it to Burks. Shot clock at six. Hits it from three-point range. Now, Burks is a lethal three-point threat. This guy has such an effortless shooting stroke. Hayward against Bogdanovich. Williams a screen. Hayward passes to Williams. Robinson with the block. Bogdanovich with it. Now defended by Hayward. The pass to Brunson. Bogdanovich wide open. No good from outside. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Steps back. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Brunson covering. The Knicks leading by five. This is a two a chew up. After Brunson. And he makes good on the way. Brunson's got five points in the quarter. Coaches talk often about the competitor Jalen Brunson is. Boy, you see it on that kind of tough bucket. Back to Williams. He dishes it to Hayward. Oklahoma City moving it around. Bangs home the trifecta. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Runs in the bounce pass. And here's Bogdanovich for three. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got his ninth assist in the game now. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They trail by seven. Knocks it loose. And now it's Burks running. He can go all the way. From down in the low post, it goes. And the Knicks lead by nine. What you love about Mitchell Robinson is his ability to read and react to the opponent. Really good defensive instincts on display. Now here's Gilgis Alexander from the strike. Brooks pulls it in. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. They're trailing by nine. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hayward. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Brooks covering. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pocket six. the arc. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got six rebounds here tonight. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Oklahoma City has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. The Knicks leading by nine. Bogdanovich passes to Brunson. over Gilgis Alexander. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Oklahoma City has got the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Robinson with the block. Achua in the corner. He tries for three. Hands it from downtown. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category has been flawless. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Oklahoma City. 
Ananobi, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And the Thunder making a switch here. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Mark Dagnall talking to his team during the break. Now, he asked for one thing, intensity. He said, I need you to crank it up to 11 out there. That's how we turn it around. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, David. Here's Brunson after Oklahoma City gets the three. Fades. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Cole Grinch got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren the pass to Williams. And here is Giddy. Burks with the double team. To the paint. Here's Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. Yeah, I know everyone's thrilled to see Holmgren scoring so well. And this is the kind of effort that could carry on well throughout the year. Now here's Brunson. Basket counts. Brunson's got 29. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you got to love that one. A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Pass to Achua. Fires from deep. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Williams with a clean look. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. After hitting only one from downtown in the first half, he's exploded with three cents. New York takes timeout. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade, get ready to play strong to finish off the game. And the Knicks making a change here. Martinstein's checked in. Dort, he's checked in for the Thunder. New York leading by seven. Here's Brunson. There's the pick. That's to Burks. From deep. Good on the three-point shot. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Splitting the floor and hitting them up. Next lead, 120. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Now the pass to Holmgren. Here's Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Back to Williams. Four on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Back to Brunson. Passes it to Achua. Burks on the wing. Giddy defending. Takes the 13-footer. And again, it's New York. And I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Shoots from 12. Knicks with the rebound. At one point, they led by 16. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Pass to Achua. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Looking to end the run. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Gilgis Alexander. Woo-hoo-hoo! The burst of speed from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Put it on the deck, get to the cup. Now, here's Burks. Out to the right wing. Pass to Achua. Oh, good with the triple. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. 
and he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, Change changing shots standard. without making Assist contact. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today, because without him, Timeout. this thing would already be over. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. All right, man. Give it up. Josh Allen. He's checked in for New York. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Burks. Thank you, Knicks Breaker Dance Crew. The Knicks leading by 10. DiVincenzo with it. Pass to Brunson. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Oklahoma City's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Into the lane. Good on the shot, and that shaved the lead to single digits. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 here in the second half. The way Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone contributing. Even Chenzo finds Ananobi. Drops in the tray. Don't get the shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Hunts in the pass to DiVincenzo. Dort against Hananobi. And there's the pass to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Knicks. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it just seemed to pay off. Here. And so checking out their season record, this game will become their 45th win. And so they're able to even up the season series at a game of peace with one left to play, exacting a little revenge and really saving face. They did not want to go down 2-0. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box, there were some great numbers for Jalen Brunson. This guy putting on a passing Dort. clinic. If you want to know how to run an offense, roll back the tape from this evening. And the Knicks with possession. They lead by 11. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. Ananobi with it. He's picked up by Holmgren. Passes to DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. Here's Hartenstein. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. That's a defensive breakdown. You, you can't let him get that deep. One of your keys defensively is do your work early and push him out of his comfort zone. So no problem for New York as they get the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olders, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Shaylen Brunson.